my name my name's uh, my name is Andrew and I am from Cameroon and this afternoon I will present to you uh, my research on the comparison of chemical and bio insecticide in rice and this work has been supervised by Professor Sitchu John and Professor Do Wan Ki. Uh, my colleague has just presented uh, the same rice where I am carrying out my experiment so to save much time I won't go into the details of the rice production, but I will present to you the technical aspects and the results of my experiment. So, uh, the rice crop is highly attacked by rice insects that generally cause more than 35% yield losses. And these insects include the rice water weevil and termites, which are predominant root insects, and the stem borers that attack the stems. Meanwhile, we have the leaf hoppers, plant hoppers, and larvae of adults, beetles, and grasshoppers that generally attack the leaves. And the sting bug is the common enemy to the rice grain. It's an example of the stem board. So to test this, uh, this pesticides, since morning we have been talking on the techniques of improving uh, sustainable food, that is food that is environmentally friendly and healthy. All along we have been developing strategies, but uh, when the world will change and adopt natural farming, surely insects and other pests will also change the strategy to survive and how to, they will also change the way they attack crops and our natural farming products will be in danger. So it is high time we develop uh, natural pesticides to ensure that our products will survive in the future. So to do this, I carried out two experiments. One was in Haju for natural rice farming and one was in Yoju. So at the end, the results were compared and then uh, I will present what I found. So in experiment one, as I said, my colleague was already presented the experiment on rice. So I just go ahead, I will present and present only the salient uh, points of the experiment. So uh, in experiment one, we used bio extracts, which were obtained by boiling plant samples for 8 hours, diluting them to 1 is to 15 ratio and applying as folia sprays. And the following uh, treatments we are used, the, the, the plant extracts used, we are uh, red pepper, uh, and then uh, lemon peels from which we obtain the insecticide. Then, Pesicaria longicenta, which is commonly called water pepper, and Korea they call it yogi. We equally use tobacco leaves. That is a tobacco. Uh, I, I just pay this uh, chemical things, uh, the molecules, uh, because I know maybe it will cause problems with people. But these are the active ingredients in the chemicals that are responsible for the insecticidal effects of the products we use. So, really, I just present to you the the, the plant species, and if there's someone who wants to know detailly uh, what is uh, why the plant is an insecticide, maybe he can then uh, follow up by reading more of it. And then the last one was uh, neem oil. So uh, when we obtain this extract, we first tested the, ex the extracts in the laboratory to make sure that the extracts have insecticidal effects. That is that they could kill insects. And this was done by introducing 10 insects in a cage and then applying the extracts from the plants directly on the insects and observing them after some time uh, and data recorded. After carrying out the laboratory screening to make sure that the, pests, that, that the plant extracts are really uh, insect, insecticides, we now carried out a field trial where we tested these plant extra, extracts on the field. And to do this, we use 24, 24 experimental plots of 5 by 5 meters each in two blocks of growth and we apply 6 treatments replicated 4 times following a randomized from the plot design and treatments were applied at 15 days before the 45, 60, 75, 90 days, that's 5 times and in the, the field we selected 12 hills uh, per plot for growth data collection Meanwhile, in experiment 2 on Conventional farming, that is where we use chemicals, 
we transplanted seeds of open rice variety at this density and we supplied try to plant nutrients using chemical fertilizers. We applied 4.5 kilograms of NPK fertilizers at 14 days after transplanting and 4.5 kilograms of uh, nitrogenous fertilizers at 80 days after transplanting. We equally we use herbicides for weed control. So this, uh, these are the treatments we use uh, at the conventional farm. We use a popular uh, chemical chemical insecticide in Korea known as as prepared, which we diluted at one to one thousand, and the active ingredient with prepared is permethrin. Let's not that. Right? And then the second treatment was uh, water pepe or yogi. The third treatment was neem oil, and the fourth treatment was chili pepe. Those are the concentrations which we diluted with the chemicals, and we applied to the plants on, on this day for all for four times application. Then. Uh, we observed that in the laboratory uh, evaluation screening test, the laboratory evaluation of biopesticides, uh, water pepper and tobacco leaves perform best because after treating the, them with uh, with these substances for two days, all the insects in the cages with where water pepper and tobacco were used, all of the insects died. Uh, but the, 20% of the insects were still remaining in the cage with treated with chili and lead oil, while 60% of the insects were remaining in the cage treated with lemon peel extracts. And on the control cage, where no insecticide was applied, all the insects were living, no insect died, showing that really the plant uh, extracts we are using have insecticide effects that they can successfully kill insects. Then we proceeded to the field, and this was the result we obtained. In the field, after treat treatment, we observed that uh, water pepper, tobacco leaves, and neem oil were efficient in controlling uh, these water rice insect pests. That is rice water weevil, green grasshopper, rice stem borer, rice steam birds, green steam birds, than, the, than chili pepper and lemon. So we can, from here we can see that these three uh, extracts, water pepper, tobacco, and neem, are better insect. They, they, they have better insecticidal properties. And in this field, one thing to to, to remark is that there there was a, the presence of beneficial insects. That is, we had a lot of dragonflies in the field and spiders. We go ahead. You see the other case. Then. When we, uh, when we compare the effects of these uh, plant extracts on the growth of rice, we noted that the plot treated with water pepper again produced shorter plants. Uh, my friend just showed uh, some plants which we are lodged and some we are studying. So we see that when plants are very tall, they are not very good in rice because they, are, they can easily lodge. But water pepper produces shorter plants. And paradoxically, these shorter plants produce the highest number of chillers, as you can see, and the highest number of particles than all other pesticides tested. So uh, now, in experiment two, where we use the chemical uh, insecticide epimetrine and the other uh, biopesticides, we observe that the water pepper in particular had a similar performance to cypermetrin, a chemical pesticide. That means water pepper can be substituted to cypermetrin. If you can use it and have almost the same results. And when we look at the, the percentage of insects in the field, we see that in the plot where we use conventional, there are no beneficial insects, which proves that the chemical pesticides are dangerous to the environment to, and to insects and to human beings as a whole. And that is why in conclusion, we say that we, we, we can probably say now that natural pesticides can successfully replace chemical pesticides, and that uh, neem oil, water pepper, tobacco leaves extract have promising insecticidal effects and can improve rice productivity in Asia and in other countries. Thank you.